pa lang ga may mga mushroom oh I'm not sure kung nakakain ba to but yan napansin ko lang yan mushroom yan medyo sira na nga pero dito meron oh yan meron that's a mushroom mushroom Yan. Yes, Pipa. <laughs> Yan o. Oh. Ito. Dito rin meron. Yan o. Oh. Yan. Magana pa tayo. Ito rin o, oh, meron. Merong maliit. Ayan. O, oh, diba? We need to inform mister na may mga mushroom. I'm not sure kasi na makakain yun. Let's go, Pipa! Tignan yun naman yung isa o. Oh. Sobang excited. Excited maglakad. Ngayon ko lang napansin mga loves na ang dami pa lang berries sa ating holy tree o oh, yan o oh. yung mga pula-pula dyan berries yan maganda to gawing wreath Christmas wreath ba kailangan mo lang magingat pag gumagawa ka ng Christmas wreath using the real holy kasi yan o oh, sobrang tinik ng dahon niya as in Nakikita niyo yan. Nakakatinik yan. Pipa, come here. Let's show them. Dito o, oh, sa gilid. Yan. Maganda sanang gawin. Picasso. Parang sobrang hassle ba gawin. Lalo na sobrang matinik niya. Dito rin o. Oh. Yan. Come on, Pipa. Come on. Tingnan lang natin yung ating swimming pool. Kung ano yung nangyari. Kasi... Sobang lakas talaga ng ulan kanina. Tingnan nyo ito mga loves. Tingnan nyo, oh, nag-collapse na siya. Ang laki ng area na nag-collapse. Yan. Marami ng ano, oh, tubig. Pipa, don't go closer there, Pipa. Tingnan nyo ito mga loves. Ito yung steps ng ating swimming pool. Malaki actually. Ayan. Wow, I'm getting excited. Magdurutin na ako ng aming hapunan. Kasi kailangan mo kasi i-prepare. So yung hapunan namin, chicken. Chicken breast. So, gagawin ko lang is lalagyan ko yung chicken breast ng gravy and onion. Yun lang. Yun lang yung kaponan then vegetables. Lalagyan ko lang ng kaunting oil kasi pepituhin ko yung manok. And then, pre-heat ko na din yung oven. Hello, Pipa! <laughs> Nagkahanap na naman siya ng mga crumbs. Are you looking for crumbs, Pipa? I think mainit na yung mantika. Yes. 
ไข่ขอบคุณที่เราติ้งมักบราวน์นี่อันเดนท้าพุสพักมักบราวน์นะเราละกันนะติ้งยองออนิออนนะมาเก่งคอนสูชันตี้องโอนิออนนะลากันคุณดินตัวนั้นซอลต์แอนด์เพปเปอร์Lagyan mo lang siya ng gravy. I'm using an instant gravy here. Just pour it all over. Until it's all coated. I think na parami ata yung gravy na na gawa ko. Just like this. Again, I'll give you a close-up look. Yan o, yan, just like this, and then, let's tapak-tapak ko lang siya ng oil, juice, and then, lalagay natin sa oven. So see you later, mga palangga, pagkapunan tayo na. I just literally said na I'll see you later when it's hapunan time. <laughs> Hindi pa hapunan time. But naisip ko lang na magchika sa inyo kasi um, hindi ko ata na share sa inyo na we will be applying my British citizen. No, if you know to. <laughs> so, I will share ko ano yung mga requirements na hiningi sa amin ng aming solicitor. Dito tayo. Dito tayo mag chika chika. So, all here is yung mga requirements na hinihingi niya. First, yung mga passports. Yan. So, passport ni Mr. Passport ko. And sabi din niya doon ko meron ako mga expired passport. Kailangan ko din ibigay yun. Kailangan ko din ipakita yun sa home office. So, ito. Ito yung expired passport ko. And yung residence permit ko. And then, yung tin number ko sabi lang niya doon na she required an ID card but I'm not sure which one kung ano yung ID card na hinihingi niya honey what are you watching sweetheart so yung ID na meron lang kasi ako na valid from the Philippines is yung tin ID ko so ito i isasama ko din ito And then, yung driver license ko. And, I need to have two passport photograph. Ayan. Pero na ako. Para sa reference form. So, basically, ididikit nila yung photo ko dito. Pero, before nila idikit yung photo ko dito is kailangan nilang ilagay yung full name ko and date of birth sa litrato, sa likod ng litrato. And then, they will sign na they are, ano, qualified to be my referee. So, dalawang referee yung hinihingi sa akin. 
yung referee na gagamitin ko kasi napakiusapan namin. <laughs> Nag-oo naman sila. So, yung accountant namin, tapos yung kapitbahay namin na doktor. So, yeah, yun. So, there's two. There's two form here. And then, yung ano ko, yung IELTS. Yan. Hindi ko na ipapakita lahat kasi sobrang hirap i-edit. So, IELTS B1 yan. Yan yung IELTS na tinake ko pa sa Pilipinas. Kasi wala kasi siyang expiration date. Kasi pag nag-take ka ng IELTS B1 sa Pilipinas, pwede mo siyang gamitin all the way through talaga. Unlike kung iwan lang yung ano mo, um, iti-take mo sa Pilipinas, then you need to take another exam here. I don't know what level it is, but it could be B1, isn't it? After the A1 or something? A2? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. And then, my um, certificate for passing the life in the UK test. Um, ito. Where it is? Yan. Yes, mister. <laughs> She's not having it. You're not. <laughs> so, I took the exam. When was this? Before 19. COVID. Yeah, 2019. 2019. Yeah, July 27, 2019. It's quite a long time, isn't it? And then, kailangan ko lang mag-provide ng mga letters, pay slips, just to prove na nakatira ako dito sa UK. Um, uh, three years lang, three years, so 20, 21, and 22. Pero isasali ko na lang yung 2019. So may mga letters ako from 2019, 2020, 21, and 22. Yan. And yung marriage certificate namin, and then yung divorce paper ni Mr. So far, yun lang yung hinihingi niya. So, technically, last year, pwede na ako mag-apply ng British citizen. Kasi, sabi din ng ano namin, ng solicitor, you can apply directly or straight after na makuha ko yung ano, yung indefinite leave to remain na permit ko. Kasi akala namin, we need to wait for another year for us to apply for British citizen. Pero sabi niya, pag you are married to a British citizen, you don't need to wait. Or, I think yun yung um, sinabi niya. Or it could be dahil sa COVID, nag-change yung rule or something. Uh, you know, it's constantly changing yung mga rules sa home office. So, kung mali yung sinabi ko, I'm sorry. But yeah, yun yung sabi niya, pwede, pwede na daw akong mag-apply um, straight away pag nakuha ko na yung indefinite leave to remain ko. But then, um, I'm not really rushing na um, mag-apply ng British citizen ko. Kasi at that time, last year, medyo mahirap pa din kumuha ng mga appointment kasi plano ko din kasi pag nag-apply ako ng British citizen, ang plano ko din is mag-apply ng dual citizenship agad-agad. Ikas, so I think ang pagkakalala ko that time, uh, medyo pahirapan yung pagkuha ng appointment sa embassy. So, sabi ko, well, I got the rights in the UK to remain. So, I'm not in a rush talaga na mag-apply ng British citizen. So, Napag-desusyon na namin na uh, mag-apply na kasi yung plano ko din kasi na i-invite yung mama ko na pabisitahin dito sa UK. So, mas madali kasi pag pag invite ko siya, British citizen ako kasi um, I'm not sure kung ano yung ano ha, yung requirements kung ano yung i-provide ko pag i-invite ko yung mama ko dito sa UK. But yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Apply the British citizen first and then i-invite si mama dito, yung nanay ko, para ma ano naman niya, ma-experience yung buhay sa UK. And 
I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm still uh, nagdadalawang isip pa din talaga ako mga palangga kung paano ko hindi naman paano ko ninyong mama ko. But then, pag nakuha na namin yung tourist visa, hindi ako sure kung ano yung gagawin ko. Kasi yung mama ko, hindi pa siya naka-travel and hindi talaga siya marunong mag-English. Yung English niya sobrang limited, yes or no. And I know some of you were saying na um, uh, mag-ask ka na lang ng assistance sa airport. Yes, I can do that. But then, ang, ang winuworried ko mga loves is pag nasa airplane na siya. So, like for example, magta-turbulence. And alam ko yung nanay ko, sobrang nervyusa din niya. So, parang nakakaawa lang ba na siya lang mag-isa. Then tapos, um, pag meal time na, of course, yung mga flight attendant, tatanungin siya kung ano yung pagkain niya or ano yung kakainin niya. At baka hindi niya maintindihan kasi minsan talaga yung mga flight attendant, sobrang bilis sila magsalita. So, napapaisip ako, nako, makakain kaya yung mama ko while on board? Mga ganong question, nag-worry lang ako ba? But, well, I guess we will worry it later on pag nakuha na natin yung um, tourist visa niya. And hopefully, mga loves, na sana yung ano, yung application niya sa tourist visa, I hope hindi matagal. Hindi pa naman kami nag-apply. We will apply after I have done my, ano, um, British citizen. And I'm not sure din kung how long this will take. And meron lang din akong, ano ha, isi-share sa inyo. Meron ako nabasang comment, I think he's a foreigner. He was saying to John, oh John, you need to be careful kasi... Um, she's inviting her family member now. That's how Filipina is. They're inviting their family member. Don't worry. My mama will not stay here permanent. She's just here for tourist visa. Okay? Kasi I don't think pwede siyang magstay here permanently. I don't know what she needs. If she needs to stay here permanently. And never pa akong naka-encounter. Or hindi ko talaga alam kung ano yung proseso for her to be permanent here in the UK. Iba talaga sa UK mga palangga. Ibang-iba yung rules nila dito unlike sa America. I'm not familiar sa US rule pero um, I'm seeing some vlogs na ini-invite nila yung mama nila to live with them permanently and all that. But yeah, iba talaga. Iba yung sitwasyon ko at iba yung sitwasyon nila. Kaya you just need to understand Pupunta lang si Mr. sa kapitbahay namin. Yung kapitbahay namin na kukunin ko as my referee. Are you going now, sir? Yeah, All right, bye bye. Thank you for doing that. It will cost me though. <laughs> I cannot afford! <laughs> oh dear people! Yung referee pala, dapat mga professional. Um, what I mean by professional is, meron silang less na provide kung sino yung dapat na kunin mo as your reference. So, buti na lang. Isa sa mga nandoon is yung accountant. And then, of course, doctor. Meron ta naman talaga yan. And, I think kung wala kang makuha na referee na ano, dalawang professional, at least isang professional and then dalawa ata na tao na wala doon sa listahan nila. As long as na, you know, they have a clean records and all that. Basta lang daw hindi pamilya mo. And meron din silang pinoprovide kung sino ang hindi dapat kunin na referee mo doon. So, ano lang, sundin nyo lang talaga kung ano yung sinasabi ng home office and then you will never get it wrong. I think yung document, iiwan lang yun ni Mr. doon sa ano, kapitbahay namin. 
kasi nakakahiya naman kung hihintayin pa ni Mr. doon until na matapos siya sa pag-fill up ng ano, ng form. Yung formula naman siya masyadong ano, pipil up pa. Basically, yung second page is declaration ng talaga and then pipirmahan lang niya. Yung front page is basically, yun yung sinasabi doon na kailangan daw sulatan yung litrato ko, yung back ng picture, um, my full name, and then date of birth, and then i-glued doon. Yung pag-apply pala ng British citizen, hindi po siya libre. <laughs> Meron po siyang bayad. Kasi some of you din, I think, Meron ako na basa sa comment nung nakuha ko yung indefinite leave to remain ko. Sabi nila, akala nila, pag nakuha na nila yung indefinite leave to remain, automatic ka na na British citizen. Hindi, hindi ka po automatic na magiging British citizen. You need to apply for it. And it will cost you, last time na I've looked in the website, 1,300 yung bayad. So, di ba? Walang katapos ang bayaran sa home office. But yeah, after this one, pag ano na, British citizen na tayo, um, I will try to apply for dual citizen, but I'm not sure when. <laughs> Depende sa schedule ko mga loves, kasi malayo kami sa London. Nandito na si Mr. Let's see ko ano yung sinabi ng amin kapitbahay. I think he's talking. Yeah, I think he's on the phone. Of course, before siya pumunta sa bahay nila ha. Tinanong naman namin siya way before way before na sinendan kami ng mga requirements ng aming Abogado. Kasi I know na kailangan mo ng reference pag nag-apply ka ng British citizen. Kasi I know some of my friends nag-apply sila ng British citizen and we need a reference. Kaya sabi ko kay Mr. Tanungin mo kay... Ha? So sabi ko tanungin mo kay Michael. Ha? He cannot do it? For what reason? Because it's too nice. <laughs> we'll do it later and we'll do it Okay. I'm Mr. Sabi he will not do it though. Siya yung kapitbahay namin na pumunta dito para mag, ano, mag strawberry picking. I don't know when was that. I don't think that was last year, but maybe 2019, 2020. I'm not sure, but meron akong ano doon, um, video na may nakatamnil na lalaki na nakaganon para nakaganon sa strawberry plot natin siya yun hindi mo akalain na doktor kasi sobrang simple lang talaga niya mga palangga and they have a big farm as well so apart from doctoring nagpa farm din yan ang laki laki ng farm nila it's ready. Yan na. Enjoy, mister. I'm enjoying. Yung mashed potato ni mister, meron siyang cheese. <coughs> Hindi ko nilagyan yung mashed potato ko ng cheese. Oh, let's go. I just like it as it is. Okay, enjoy. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.